Hi, it's Seb Brantigan, the Brickpreneur, and this is a video on how to clear your ClickFunnels page cache. Now, this is a particularly important video if you're trying to link ClickFunnels with Infusionsoft for payments. Okay, this is going to be a very, very important video. And what sometimes might happen if you're experiencing this error is everything is set up correctly. Uh, you go to products, everything is set up there, uh, everything's all good. And for some reason, payments still aren't happening. And what was happening for me was people were processing the payment and they were being redirected to an old Infusionsoft web form uh, from a totally different funnel. Now, this can sometimes happen. Uh, it's quite common when uh, funnels are duplicated. So this was a duplicated funnel. But here is specifically how you clear the cache um, if you're taking payments, uh, linking it all back to Infusionsoft. So here we go. So the first thing we want to do is go and head over to integrations and we want to integrate a form. OK, it doesn't matter what form it is at this point because we're going to remove it in a second. Uh, now, if you're not using Infusionsoft, you can just use whatever integration you use. Um, I just happen to use Infusionsoft. So integrate existing form. And if we go over to this is just one of the forms. If I jump out a bit so you can see uh, this is a web form here. This is already all set up. Uh, make sure the thank you page is the next page in the funnel. So make sure that's all good as well. And make sure all of these are the right fields that you want to capture. Uh, I recommend uh, first name, last name, email, phone number. So if you jump over to code, and then we just copy the code there. We paste it in the Fusionsoft form here. And then we, we want to click pass and save web form. So first name, last name, and email. Uh, don't worry about this last field here. Don't worry too much about it. As long as you're adding some fields and you're putting something in here and you want to make sure it says connected. That's when you know it's all working fine. So we just want to then click save. So that's all good. And then what we want to do is remove the whole integration. OK, now I don't know why this works. I couldn't even get ClickFunnels support to explain why this works. Um, I think maybe one of their tech staff at some point advised me to do this a while ago. Um, but I thought I would just make a video because I couldn't actually see it on on their support page. Maybe, maybe it is there. Maybe I've just totally missed it. Um, you know, they are pretty good. So maybe they do have a video. But I thought I would just do one here um, as this was very frustrating for me because everything was set up correctly. Absolutely everything. And, you know, I modeled a previous funnel that was working. The payments were going through fine on the previous funnel. I did exactly the same thing here. It still didn't work until I went and added and removed an integration. So a very weird bug. Uh, it might just be something to do with, you know, FusionSoft click funnels are both competitors. So and the data doesn't always transfer across properly. Um, you know, that, that happens when two different companies are competitors and can't work together, unfortunately. However, that's another video for another time, but this is pretty much uh, what I would do to make sure to clear your integration. So if you are using Fusionsoft for products and it's not working, make sure you've done this extra step in all of your funnels when you're taking payments. OK, this is only really if you're taking payments from Fusionsoft. Um, but yeah, hopefully this video helps you. If you've got any more questions, please drop me a comment. Uh, if you like these videos, subscribe. And if you've got any uh, video suggestions, just look, drop a comment below or, or just ask. Thanks and see you in the next video.